Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the first part of this conversation with Lisa. Now stay tuned for part two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe at my Instagram page, Long Transmit Nation, and also on YouTube, Long Transmit Nation. Thank you so much. Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is Sasha again from Long Transmit Nation. I got Lisa here. I was really very kind, uh, you know, to uh, join us and be with us. So Lisa, the last time we, we left, um, you were talking about, you know, your caregivers, how important that is in, in the process of, of, of you healing. So why don't you take it from there? Yeah, so I wanted to respect those circumstances. My sons didn't even want to go to school. And I said, no, hmm. go to school, come back with stories, tell me everything. But what if, what if, what if? And I said, you know what, let's set up something then. I honored them and they said, let's have a text group. Mm. Um, we signed up for something called Life 360 because if I'm nonverbal and if someone takes me to the hospital, they don't know which hospital. Well, mm. they could see where I was. Yes, yes. And we built up as time went on. They had their needs, what they wanted, but I wanted everyone to go and have their life. Yes. So with that, remembering the seminars, mm. Um, a lot of people were talking about self-care. Yes. What you could do for yourself is helping your entire team. Mm. If you're waiting to see someone get married, well, they get married. If you have the blessing to be able to stay around and find it, then they have children. Well, for that person, then they would have to get their support group to handle all the kids. Yep. Drop from their work to take care of you. Whoa, well, I better take care of myself then. So as all your wishes come true, you get to see the graduations, mm -hmm. your support group might move away. Yeah. And before transplant, you kind of want them to have this really great, awesome life. Yeah. And for my partner, my husband, uh, he wants the very best for me. And so, he needs to work. We're down to one job. And when he leaves, he needs to know I'm okay. Yes. Yes. And so that's why I bring it back to what, what is it I can do for myself mm -hmm. and exercise? Every single one of them said compliance. That mm -hmm. word always comes up about compliance. Yes. Yes. And building your team of um, support groups. As you go along, make sure you have the friends that you could text, take care of my dog. They have keys to my house. Yeah. Pick up my sons. We, I, you know, get your group, get your, I forgot the really good word for it. You're like your family. Well, like your community. It's like, it's like you create your own community. And, 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 you know, I'm glad you said that because, and also one thing is like, don't be afraid to ask for help have to yeah because like in the beginning i was like ah eh, but in and i was incredible incredibly thankful and grateful because yeah. i was hospitalized and i was you know my wife with, with the kids and everything else and the whole neighborhood rallied around it was oh. amazing lisa the whole neighborhood rallied around some take their kids to school when my wife couldn't um they did a, a meal train so like, oh. like seven family and like every day, every other day, somebody would cook something, would drop it off for them because I'm in a hospital. I mean, it was just so helpful. So tell people pre-transplant, even post-transplant, depends on how you're doing. Don't forget to ask for help because people are not going to know. I mean, you know, people see you, yeah, they know you're sick, but they don't know, you know, how sick you are. They don't know what you're going through because we have good days and bad days, good weeks and bad weeks. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And you'd be surprised how open yeah. people are to help out. Right. right. Yeah. That, that's exactly you took the words from me. How surprising mm -hmm. and and also a little bit disappointing. The people who you thought who say, oh, I do anything for you. And you know they, they had to realize that they really couldn't. Their lives were just so full, and, but they meant it. Yeah. But they yeah. didn't realize that they couldn't. And then um, there were people who had so much on their own plate, but managed to cook a few extra cutlets and find uh, when they went shopping, they were the ones who said, I don't mean to be pushy, but I bought this for you. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I always wanted to pay them back. They always, everyone said the same thing. No, no, no. Just pay it forward. No, pay absolutely. Forward. Absolutely. And, and, and you would definitely hit on something there, uh, Lisa, because mm. I'm telling you, it's like, um, 
it's like sometimes you think you might, some people you might rely on because of quote unquote your relationship with them. And people that are on the fringe, just acquaintances or you know, friends that and then they are the one that stepped up. You're like, oh my God. You know what I mean? So it's 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 a beautiful thing. So you're not gonna know for sure until you ask. Yeah. Until you ask. And and, and it's and, a beautiful thing. It is, it is awesome. It is awesome. So now let me ask you um mm -hmm. quickly. So post-transplant, how were you feeling? Um, because everybody got their own situation. Um, because mm -hmm. you know, for me, like I said, I had to stay an extra six weeks, almost seven weeks Oof. transplant. Um, you know, because I, I had a lot of difficulty, you know, I still have issue with my right leg. I, I wear it. Sorry but, about that. But no, no, it's okay. But it's, it, it, it's, it's part of the experience, you know, it's, it, it's, it's part of, um, you know, life It's part of living, you know, it, it's part of the enjoyment in a sense, because mm. as you go over that threshold, you get to appreciate things more and you let, you get to things that used to like get on your nerves back. It's like, it doesn't bother me anymore. No. Just because other uh, other things are more important. Mm -hmm. so, so how was it like for you when you got back home and 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 um, you know, to maintain you know your health, your exercise. I mean, what kind of different exercise were you able to do? Anything that okay. you know, that'd be appreciated. So just to thread things mm -hmm. in, um, pre transplant, it was explained to me. One of the big problems I had was pulmonary hypertension mm, and that that could just, that could be the reason why I checked out, died. Um, so what was one of the remedies for that? For me, it's always, what can I do? Just, just, just tell me that kind of thing. Um, and so the doctors kept saying, you don't want swelling in the legs. Swelling in the legs puts hypertension on your heart, puts mm -hmm. pressure on your heart and your lungs. Mm -hmm. You got to bring that down. Mm -hmm. I had to lose a ton of weight. Mm -hmm. I had already lost a lot of weight and they still wanted me to lose another 40. To date, I lost 113 pounds. Wow. I had to change my relationship with food and it's never about the food. Yeah, it's about, it's it's about why I eat. That's right. I had to change my idea about food. I had to change my idea about exercising, about commitment, about compliance. Why am I in it? Get rid of habits. I have to tell you, I was a lot of work. I still am for myself. I'm just like, you know. Um, anyway, so um, about the swelling, walking. And when I wanted to tell you something right before transplant, because we had those two years of COVID mm. when we couldn't go out. We didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I tanked. My health just tanked. Wow. And so I got this uh, recumbent uh, elliptical for the legs. Mm. And I prayed all day, Lord, just get me through it. Heavenly Father, let me please, please, please let me be able to do something to participate in my own recovery. Please, please, please. And I was on two oxygen concentrators connected by a Y. Wow. Uh, so I only had to wear the one cannula. Yes, yes. Sasha, when I stood up, those things both shut off. What did I have to do? I had to beg for oxygen tanks. I had 23 E size oxygen tanks. Wow. Up, and you know, I had to put up something for me to get those. Yeah. And I had it on a rolly. Mm. Don't know how you should call it. Yeah. And like so now yeah. I have, yeah. mm -hmm. so I had two cannulas. I saturated my lungs and then I was able to self shower, self care, prepare simple meals. And here I'm moving around with three long cannulas. Mm -hmm. And to me, it was still a blessing to me. It still, still meant I still was in the game. I still had a chance. That's right. And I never prayed for anyone to, uh, to die. I said, Lord, if it should be the holy well, if somebody just wants to gift it, say my life is over and 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 please give this to someone who could use it. And I had five dry runs. Mm, wow. And then the sixth time I went, they said, no, you don't have to come right away. Come at 11. You're, if it should happen, it'll the operation will be at 4.10 in the morning. Mm. So I gathered my tribe. Oh, that's the word I was looking for before my tribe. 
Yes. And and uh, I sent the one message. My sons knew what family members to call. Everyone had a job. Mm-hmm. Because all I wanted to do was be with my family and my my husband. And we knew if it was going to happen, it'll happen. If not, if it was my time to go, told everyone have a great life. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, listen, it's it's okay, Lisa. It's okay. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's uh, I I can say for all of us. I mean, for me as well, it 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 hasn't it has been a tough journey because I remember before transplant, I had to go to a lawyer. Okay, I had to me go too. To, you know, do do you know do paperwork? You know, just in case, and and that's when it really hit me. I mean, I know I was very sick, but when I had to write those down, you know. Oh my God, you know, this is who gets what. This is, I was like, oh my God, it really hit me. It literally hit me. It, it, it hit home that this is a strong possibility because listen, I don't care how many transmit they've been doing. I don't care how far technology is. Things happen. Things happen. You're under. So it's like one of the most complicated surgery there is as far as like transplant is concerned. It's um, just truly miraculous Things and happen. humbling. Um, thank you for sharing that. I also created a trust. Yeah, I did that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what kept me compliant. I said, how dare I, if ever I do anything intentionally that would uh, hurt my family or myself Mm -hmm. or be disrespectful of my team. Mm -hmm. And that kept me really in line. So to answer your question, what did I do to post transplant? I had my little machine and I said to my husband, bring it to the hospital Mm -hmm. because of the COVID situation. Uh, Post-transplant, when I woke up, they asked me, what do you want? I said, I want to get up and walk. Mm. That was my focus. I wanted to get up and walk. They go, oh, good, because we were going to get you up today. (laughs) They don't play that when it comes to (laughs) to PT and OT. I mean, they, they, but it's it's, it's for our own good. Trust me. Yeah. For our own good. So my message to everybody is the staff will be in your face and it's all for your own benefit. That's right. And you might be in pain emotionally or physically you're coming off a ton of medication. You will be loopy. Mm. Not maybe. Mm. I said things that were not true. <laughs> uh, it's just it's a stuff just comes out of your mouth. And this is, you know, like when you get your teeth done. Yeah. Oh, your children get their teeth pulled and they're on the, their yeah. whatever. And they just start telling s- silly stories yeah. and you're filming them because you think it's so funny. <laughs> Oof. 1,000 milligrams of prednisone. You will be loopy. Oh, not, yeah. not maybe. It's gonna yeah. happen. It's, trust me, I, I I know. I mean, I got stories. That's a point another day. I mean, even like when I was under, I was having like dreams, and yeah. I would just come back the next time where I left off in the dream and just continue. It, it's weird how, yeah. how powerful and crazy the human mind is. But yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, post transplant, if they told me get up, I got up. They it. told me to do something. I said, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And I just did it. Yeah. Great staff. Um, and you don't have to like everyone. You don't have to like the process. Do you, Will you like the outcome? Yeah. How hard do you have to work to get there? If When I went to those seminars, they were very clear. There are no days off. Mm. Post-transplant, you will take the medication your whole life. So what did I do? I decided to take my medicine as prescribed. Yeah. If well, I had a problem, I called my team. Um, one of the problems was if I took the vitamins with the medication, mm-hmm. I was I felt trashed on the couch for two hours. And I said, can I, again, I was speaking to my team about my circumstance. Mm-hmm. I have other health issues. Maybe you do, so maybe that's not for you. What I mean to say is don't take my advice. Take your team's advice. Oh, the okay. advice was... You still need to take everything, but it's okay to take X, Y, Z this time and the others within two hours. Can I tell you that made all the difference for me? Yes. So always speak to your team about absolutely everything. Don't say, oh, it's just a little cult. No, tell them, tell them. Yeah. 
and is, always do your uh, statistics in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. your, your, your oximeter, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I went back to exercising right after. Mm -hmm. And I only had one incident that I had to go back in for surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, within that week that I was there, um, I started to get a little sweaty and clammy on my head. And I started to feel this whoosh, like my energy was coming out. Mm. And a, a nurse who wasn't even from our floor came and she says, you don't look good. And I'm like, oh, that must be bad, <laughs> really bad. And she knew everything about that, the tubes and that gizmo that checked the fluids that were coming oh, out. Oh, yes, 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 I know exactly. <laughs> well, you know why I forget the name of it? Because the nurses called it the Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> So we call it yeah. Louie. I, I don't know what the name is, but it collected all the liquid. And yeah. she's, I'm, I'm getting the nurses and doctor. Yeah. So they came and everyone was doing whatever. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm checking out. I don't feel good. And whoosh, they took us, they took me to OR. They, mm. they re looked in and there was like dried up uh, blood clot. Mm. They vacuum cleaned. Yeah. That's not the right term. Yeah, no, <laughs> they, yeah. I mean, they yeah, sucked everything yeah, out. Absolutely. And uh, whatever it was they did, mm -hmm. I became better. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad yeah. for everybody there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, blood clot is a, is a real danger. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I mean, I, I, I work on pushing slots as, as often as I can, you know, uh, that helped me, you know, with putting the swelling down when when i flew last december the first time since my transplant i actually bought a little um hand uh massager you know that i you know for my leg you know so because yeah, yeah. about a three hour flight and i got up every 45 minutes walked around because blood clot you know is is very serious so so and, and it, it is a silent it's a silent attacker it would attack you that know so you got to do your part in, in everything else. But getting back to what you said, I really think it's, it's so important for us to be accountable, to be accountable for, you know, for ourselves and having the will and determination because you have to say for yourself, okay, it's not I'm doing it for the doctors, but I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for the donors that the donor, the donor's family, you know, who were gracious enough to, 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 you know, pass on this gift. So, you know the mental aspect to me it is so so important that that i know i don't take it for granted whatsoever whatsoever yeah. and even there are times like we're gonna have times that way you know it feels like oh god you know this this is this is hurting or i'm not feeling well but you gotta you gotta see it as a glass half full you know you you really have to be positive mm -hmm. about it because the mind can conquer a lot the mind can conquer a lot I mean, it's your strongest part of your body. And I've known people that um, looked perfectly fine and everything was going great. And, you know, you could do everything right and still die. Yeah. But you can only do your part. You can only do your part. And uh, I would strongly suggest you, uh, the viewers, your viewers, um get um, a post-transplant group mm -hmm. and listen to their stories and and you learn so much. Well, what did you do? Well, this is what I did. And I felt that same way. And it feels, I mean, it's a club you never really want to have to join, mm -hmm. but there's something, maybe you could find the word for me, Sasha. There's something so right about it. You're just amongst people who really know what you're going through. And mm -hmm. Other people have been through way worse than myself. Nine months stays and yeah. three months stays and yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. But yeah. the point is, you woke up and you have a chance, and they fought through it and they became better for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're my heroes. Yeah, no, all absolutely. of your viewers are my heroes. Everybody. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 for me, I, I find it therapeutic. I find it therapeutic to be talking to you. To, to, to hear your story, you know, some some things we have, you know, uh, similar, other things we mm -hmm. don't. And that's the beauty of it because mm -hmm. everybody is different, but I can take a little something from you, a little something from that person and, you know, apply it to myself, you know, apply it to myself. But the main thread is you got to be positive. You got to be strong yeah. mentally. 
and you got to do what you what you need to do like you said before medication is very important um you got to take medication your medication on the t on time that they tell you to do so for and, you know so forth and so on if something is not going well then you go to your team and say look when i take x y and z i feel this way when i you know instead of that so communicate but you have to to me it's like a religion medication is, is your religion you have to take it you have to have it at, at, at in, in a timely manner and you mm -hmm. got to do everything else you got to do mm -hmm. everything else. you got to eat right you got to work out you got to do everything else because like they said you know what the present is a gift and we're living in the yes present. you know we're living in the present and we got to make the most of it so I know people, I agree with you. I know people who are training for marathons. Okay, I'm not doing that. They want to climb mountains. I'm also not doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put on my music in the kitchen is a form of my exercise. And I could dance for three to four hours. Well, yeah. then I got my 15,000 steps in and I was jamming out to my music, all there different genres. We, um, we anywhere in my house, I could bring my music. The laundry gets done. I'm dancing dishes. They get done. I'm, I don't have to have a formal setting. That's the formal true. setting was extremely important because I needed so much oxygen and care. Mm -hmm. At this point, I... I have no excuses. I could do my exercise machines, mm -hmm. but if that day I can only just do walking, then that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. um, so what's my takeaway? What do I want to leave the group knowing? You matter. I want to tell everyone you absolutely matter. You don't need anyone's permission to have to matter. That might sound silly, but sometimes we look for validation from people. Yes, yes. You just have to know for yourself yeah. that I'm doing this because I want to live. I know it's not a guarantee forever. I know that I can no longer sunbathe. Mm -hmm. I know because it could get cancer. Yes. I know mm -hmm. that my immune system is no longer able to protect my skin mm -hmm. the way it did. I know I can't eat certain foods yeah. and make peace with it. A lot of people suffer in, in, in those groups in the back, the live groups when we used to gather together, mm -hmm. someone would say, well, what am I doing this for? When they heard everything that they can't do. Yeah. And my whole body got so it was like a visceral feeling. That was an honest question. And a lot of people are there thinking they're just going to get transplanted and go right back to work yeah. to find out that they're not. Well, listen, one thing I must say about that, it's it's all depends on the person. Yes. Um, because I, I've seen enough example. I mean, listen, I got a I got a couple of um, people I, you know, not that I know, but, you know, through right. the different groups. I mean, you have this guy, he's climbing mountains and I mean, literally. Yeah. He'll go to Oregon, he'll go to Washington State. I mean, this guy is in the wilderness, ten thousand feet up. I mean, I was like, God bless. So I'll wave to him. Yeah, I'll exactly. Wave. exactly. <laughs> it's not you, for me. You gotta find your comfort zone. And right. But it's different because you don't want to look at somebody's life and say, Well, why can't I no? If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But within you, you gotta find your own comfort your mm -hmm. own way of doing things, okay? Yeah. And, and 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 enjoy your life. It's I mean, paramount. Yeah, what somebody else is doing is not what you need to be doing. Exactly. So as your comfort level, and on top of that, it also depends on how long you've been transplanted, you know? So some mm -hmm. people have more comfort level five plus years post, mm -hmm. people that are less than five years. I mean, you got to find your comfort level. But the bottom line is, for me, I can say it's all worth it. It's all yes. worth it. And, um, you know, God forbid, knock on wood, if I had to do it again, I would, because it's all worth it. Because every day I get up, I breathe, I have a new experience. It's something that I might not have had if I didn't have the transplant. So right. I'm very grateful. I'm, I, you know, I'm very grateful. No matter how difficult of a journey it has been, and sometimes it is, I'm very grateful and very thankful you know, to, to, to be, you know, with my family, with my loved ones. And, and, and I'm happy and I'm happy because life, right. life has obstacles, no matter how you see it, physical, mental, you name it. That's what life, that's, that's what the experience is. So, 
yes, and some for some people there might be more limitation than others, but you can find joy within what you do, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I was just getting out and enjoying life again. And then the blood tests, again, if you don't go in for your appointments, mm -hmm. just because you think you feel good, that's a very bad decision. Those blood tests show you. And you know how 1.4 is the threshold for um, the neutrophils? Mm -hmm. My, so 1.4, right? Mine was 0 0.3. Mm -hmm. And I was told, Please don't go out. Mm -hmm. Wear a mask even around your family. Just, you know, don't don't venture out right now. Yeah. We're going to work on it. I had to have a spinal um, biopsy. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of tests I had to do. But I, I brought this with me. There you go. I said, God, whatever your will is. And I showed up and did what I had to do. So... Um, I wish everyone the best life possible mm -hmm. and for them to find their path and their way and um, just know it's it's something that'll be for the rest of your life. You will know your team mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. And that's profound when someone said that to me. It's like, yeah, I do need them for the rest of my life. So be kind to them. Yeah. You might not agree with them the whole time. Hey, listen, yeah. But you know what? W one thing, you know, uh, I like to let people know that you're not alone. And and, and and that's what, you know, my little part doing this platform. And thank you so much, Lisa, for joining me, for for telling us uh, of your story. And you're welcome anytime. And anytime, you know, we, we can discuss different topics. But um, it is what it is. You, you know, you have to make the most out of what life gives you. And yes. You have that second chance, um, grab it by the horns, do your part. You do your part, you'll be fine. You do your part, you'll be fine. You'll find within your own bubble, within your own uh, life, you'll find joy in, in, in everything. So, you know, but once again, um, I want to thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I was so nervous. You made this oh, so nice. And I hope other people do it too, so they can share their stories. Uh, yes, it's just so important awesome. what you're doing, Sasha. Thank you. Oh, thank you. God bless. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's you it's too. my pleasure. It's it's just another voice, another outlet, which right. people know that they're not alone. They're not alone. And and some of us understand what you've been, you know, what you're going through because we've been through it and we're still going through it. So there is no magic elixir. We just have to navigate and make the most of it. You Absolutely. Know? Thanks again so much uh, for coming in, uh, Lisa. Um, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Uh, have okay. a great day. God bless. You too. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, folks, this is the end of it. Thank you for watching uh, this conversation series with Lisa and I hope you are able to get something out of it. Um, my goal is to keep bringing this conversation with different people around the country, even around the world. Uh, I had um, Miss Nancy Lewis uh, from Canada that I, that I had a conversation on my YouTube channel and on Instagram. Also, I've spoken with uh, Claire from the Kanto region of Japan. So I'm trying to give us uh, a, 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 an idea of people going to the process in different parts of the world and even in our own backyard. So please don't forget to like and subscribe on uh, YouTube and on Instagram, Long Transport Nation. My name is Sasha and thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.